Classic FM. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Alistair Yates. Labour's annual conference gets underway this afternoon. The Labour leader, Ed Miliband, says if banks don't separate their retail and investment arms, a future Labour government will break them up. Sky's chief political correspondent, John Craig, reports from Manchester. Labour is will threaten to... At least 17 people have been killed in four separate car bomb attacks in Iraq. Three of the vehicles exploded in an area north of Baghdad. It's believed Shiites with the intended target. A U.S. official has confirmed that 2,000 American soldiers have now been killed in the Afghan conflict after a new suspected insider attack. A U.S. soldier and a foreign contractor were killed in eastern Afghanistan, apparently by a rogue member of the Afghan security forces. Thousands of people have marched in Melbourne, Australia, following the murder of an Irish woman in the city. The body of 29-year-old Jill Maher was found in a shallow grave last week. A 41-year-old Australian has been charged with rape and murder. Many protesters carried placards calling for peace in society. I'm completely shattered by what's happened. It could have happened. Two police officers shot dead in Greater Manchester are among those being remembered at a memorial service for officers killed while on duty. Special dedications for PCs Nicola Hughes and Fiona Bone are being read at the York Minster service. Sergeant Joe Holmes from Kent set up National Police Memorial Day and explains its purpose. Basically, we'll ensure that the nation acknowledges it. Europe are clinging on to the United States going into the final day of golf's Ryder Cup. They're 10-6 down. Europe captain Jose Maria Oltabo has selected Luke Donald, Ian Porter and Rory McIlroy to go out to tee first. We have to put uh, the players that are playing well. And in tennis, Laura Robson is through to the second round of the China Open. The British number one continued her impressive form by beating Japan's Kimiko Date Krum in straight set 6-4, 6-4. The weather is next. A band of occasionally heavy rain will move erratically southeast, clearing Scotland and Northern Ireland by the afternoon. Sunny spells and scattered blustery showers following, though. Southeastern England should stay dry with some sunny spells, generally windy with a high of 16 Celsius. Classic FM, it's four minutes past ten. <laughs>